<laughs> dark colony project. The the idea is to yeah, establish okay, watch it, watch a permanent colony at level 100 in the mines. Or level 90, depending on which was crystal. Green's, main crew, and we have I, the right to main crew. slaughter all Main of them. crew would be basically staying down there as permanently as we can get it. And then support crew, they'll be occasionally teleporting down to provide food and, and replacement gear. And then using a teleportation potion to come back up. So that main crew can potentially just stay down as, as long as they'd like. And then support crew can bring all the ore up with them to be cataloged with Royal. Royal and I will be co coordinating to make sure that when the support crew goes down, main crew is waiting for them so that the transaction can go as swiftly as possible without with the minimal with minimal chance of worm spawning and, hit, and killing you everybody. Basically, we need to think about... <laughs> How often support crew is going to be able to come down to give replacement equipment and food to main crew? The answer, not very often, because 110 crystal orbs are going to be needed every time. I can help fund the first few trips down. Okay. When you're going um, down, you have to have... Yeah, you have to have crystals at the source and at the origin, so... Yeah, so it'll be... So can we can we confirm that it's it's 55 to get to level 100? Correct. So if we need do we need 55 at the top and 55 at the bottom? Yes, so 110 in total. So we need 110 per teleport. So that means main crew, which is comprised of me, Joe, JPAT, and Rubik. Um, I believe there's someone else that we're missing who is on main crew. I just don't remember who. Uh, mm, sorry, so that's yes. gonna mean that one guy is going to be able to come down at a time to give us new food. So we need to, we'll have to, that, so that's one backpack, potentially nine slots or two of main crew could be, could have no backpack in order to be able to quickly reach an, a weapon on their back and two, and two weapons or a pickaxe or something so that they're not fumbling around in their backpack trying to get their main weapon. This person would largely could would most likely one of them would be holding a bow so they could have a bow on their back arrows in the quiver uh pickaxe on the other side food and some kind of extra item which could be a teleportation potion to get back up in case of emergencies it could be dynamite what have you exactly um do we have anyone and i realize this is a pretty big request so i'm probably going to be one of them who is willing to give up their backpack while they're in the mines does it have to be a bow and arrow or could it be like a sword uh, so? one I person could be a bow and arrow and one person could be something else we're thinking a maximum of two people would have no backpack i'm volunteering to go down it. without a backpack right that's 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 me so i'll probably go down there with sh with a shield just because my combat skills aren't the best in terms of actual like the levels and i'm just not that good at combat so i'll, I'll be holding up <laughs> shields to make sure that everyone else can not get killed by worm spit. That I'll seems a like a very pick. good thing to do. Pretend this is a pickaxe, as I don't have my pickaxe on me right now. You're mining, you're mining. As soon as you hear the rumbling, especially because there's going to be crystal worms down there, and crystal worms are still extremely dangerous, one person's job, pull out their bow and arrow, start picking off the distant targets that would block everyone else's escape. Because also, that would be the biggest issue. Um, the guy with the bow and arrow needs to make sure that the people who, uh... Oh, you dropped your sword there, Joe. Um, yeah, I understand. Because the biggest thing that kills people is not having an escape route. The two people without the backpacks need to ensure there is an escape route. What the DCP will not be, will not be initiated until either. Well, probably next update is when we'll really start in earnest, just so that we can see what the the new update brings, and so they can have the maximum amount of time possible. Um, also, this is this update is mainly figuring out logistics, and perhaps we'll do like a trial run at level twenty, just to see how feasible and what we what we need to do. We need to change. Yeah, what's up, Casher? You should probably, if the last layer is on a crystal layer, bring it down to the next closest dark layer because it has a much lower worm spawn rate than crystal layer. They, 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 the council have so far messed it's, me, me, uh, so far mentioned some kind of shifty looking prices for the ore we're, we're bringing up. So th we might not sell to them. We might sell to other people. In all likelihood, we'll negotiate a good price with the council, and they'll and they'll be buying a lot of our ore because they always need. Cost.